What's up guys, Mr. Stark here with a quick tutorial on a series circuit. Now, what you're looking at right now is basically a diagram of how we're going to break down these calculations and there are certain quantities that we need to know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk my camera around and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So over here you can see we have ET which means total voltage. E stands for voltage. IT, T stands for total. I stands for current. RT, T stands for total, R stands for resistance, and then last, PT, uh, total power, and that would be referenced in watts. Our diagram represents three resistors. Here's the symbol for a resistor, another resistor, another resistor. These three resistors are in series with the power source, which means there's only one path for current to flow. You can see that it starts and goes back to the source. There's no alternate paths that would skew that circuit. There are rules to a series circuit that apply to this formula. <clears throat> if we come over here, we have rules. Series rules, formulas. One way of confirming if you've got your math right is the total voltage in the circuit should equal the voltage drop across resistor one plus the voltage drop across resistor two plus the voltage drop across resistor three. In other words, voltage is additive in a series circuit. This is the same rules written. Voltage is additive. Total voltage is the sum of all the voltage drops across the resistors. Next thing, total current. Total current is the same anywhere in the circuit. So if I have two amps at my source, I should have two amps across resistor one, two amps across resistor two, and two amps across resistor three. That coincides with rule number two over here. Current is the same everywhere in the circuit and equals the total current because there's only one path for current to flow. So that rule is represented by that formula. Last, total resistance is additive. Resistor one plus resistor two plus resistor three should equal RT. Written, res resistance is additive, total resistance is the sum of all the resistances in the circuit. And then power in this equation also is additive. Total power is the sum of all the power in this circuit. This will change in the future in theory too. <clears throat> How do we get to breaking these calculations down? Well, we use a simple pie chart of Ohm's law. And if I wanted to find a quantity, what I would do is if I'm looking for current, I would put my hand over current and now I'm left with voltage divided by resistance. If I was trying to find resistance, I would cover this up, voltage divided by amperage. If I was trying to find voltage, I would cover up the voltage part and then it would be amps times resistance. Come over here, same is true, same type of wheel. If I was trying to find power in the circuit, it would be I times E, which is VA, which would give me watts. If I was trying to find voltage, I would cover that up. It would be power divided by amperage. And the same is true if I tried to cover up amperage. If I was looking for amperage, it would be power divided by voltage. Cover up the quantity that you're looking for. Do the math equation that's left. So how does that apply to over here? Well, let's do some simple numbers. We know the rule of a series circuit is uh, that what we need to do is try to get to total resistance. Notice how I got up here is get RT. I want to get RT. I need to get total resistance. Well, resistive is at, resistance is additive in the circuit. So if I took 6 plus 4 plus 2, my total resistance would then become 12. I want to find current. What formula am I going to use to find current if I already have voltage and resistance? Well, that's easy. If I already have voltage and resistance and I'm trying to find amperage, I cover up amperage, it's going to be E divided by R. So if I come over here, I have a pretty simple answer for this one. E divided by R, 12 divided by 24, well, I'm sorry, 24 divided by 12 equals 2. Well, that's great because I know in a series circuit, current is the same everywhere in the circuit. 
So if I come over here, IT equals I1 equals I2 equals I3, or my written rule, current is the same everywhere in the circuit and equals the total current, because there's only one path for current to flow. So if we go all the way back to my formula, zigzagging around, I know I could put this two everywhere in the circuit. Two amps, two amps, two amps. Now you can start to see how easy this is gonna get. If I've got any two quantities in any formula, I can find the third. Let's skip this for a minute. How do I find E if I have I and R? Well, how do I find voltage if I have current and resistance? <clears throat> Cover up the E, I times R. So, bring this camera back. I know I'm getting you guys dizzy. Two times two is four. Two times four is eight. Two times six is 12. How do I confirm that I'm right? <clears throat> well, one of the rules of the series circuit for voltage is voltage is additive. If I add up all the voltage drops across the resistors, they should equal the total. 12 plus eight equals 20. 20 plus four equals 24. That's how I know that I'm correct because my voltage does indeed equal the total. The only thing that's left to find, if you want to find it, is power. I can use any of these two to solve this. Typically when we're solving for power, we take voltage and current and we multiply them together. So let's do that. I times E, 24 times two is 28. And because power is additive in a series circuit, these should result to 28. Uh, what did I do wrong? I'm sorry, I times E is 48. Stupid of me. I times E is 48. So now we do I times E here is 24. I times E is 16. I times E is eight. We take 16 plus 8, we get 24. 24 plus 24 does, in fact, equal 48. Uh, that's probably the easiest breakdown I could give you for that. Because at the end of the day, it all comes down to knowing your series rules. So they have to give you some quantities to start with, and they did. So to wrap up, series rules, voltage is additive in the circuit. All voltage drops, if they are added up across each resistor, should equal the total voltage. Current is the same everywhere in a series circuit, so total current should equal any current across any resistor. Total resistance is additive. All the resistances adding up will equal the total resistance. And total power, all the total powers, uh, all the powers across each resistor should equal the total power. You have your Ohm's Law wheel, if you're trying to look for a value, cover it up with your hand and do the math that's left with the two symbols. And here's your written rules, which reflect the formulas to my left, all saying the same thing, just in a written language. Hopefully that helped, and I'll be back with another video.